Hi, welcome to this tutorial how to install software for DOF reality platforms. This tutorial is applicable for all models of our platforms, so it's exactly the same steps you do for any of them. So first and most important, uh, you should power off your platform. Disconnect USB cable and power it off. And then you download the software from a PDF manual that you get. So you download DOF Reality Setup file and run it. When you run, you will see a logo and then you will see standard installation uh, progress so you accept license click basically click next to all of them and click install and during this installation you will uh, get a pop-up screen to enter the license uh, you get your license information in email with the tracking number that uh, you got from us so very important here to use uh, our our email there. So email address in the license is sales at dofreality.com and you put your license key and you activate your license. When it's done you click finish now you double check that uh, platform is disconnected from USB and you click next then you connect the platform on the both sides, uh, one to the control box and one to your computer. As soon as you did it, you get confirmation screen and it's good to go. If something went wrong and your USB port is not working, so you need to try different USB ports, but uh, one of them should give you a good result and you should be able to proceed further. So we click OK. Now we get SimTools installed. Be in the Start menu and in uh, Windows Search you can find uh, all the SimTools applications. So first we will start with Game Engine. In, we run Game Engine and uh, you see when you run game engine and other sim, uh, sim tools applications most of them get um, run in background and to open them you actually have to go back to the tray and uh, open it from the tray so we open game engine we check access assignments so you see you, all information is filled in you have your default profile here and you have all your games so uh, let let me show you one important step here if you let's say you run some game and let's say airfly and your access uh, are mixed up so instead of moving forward the platform moves to the side something like this or other access are mixed up you can go here first you need to check that you <coughs> change and actually profile for specific game so you ch ch check your game here then you can change directions of each axe and if you want to add or, or decrease some force you change percentage here so you have all the access here and you can change directions but make sure that you're changing it for specific game not for default profile because there's a default profile so you change it for specific game and you click save that's very important to save your changes if you change something here then we check interface settings you see comport here all information is good here and we go to output testing now it's time to power on your platform so USB is connected now you power on the platform and you click turn on here 
uh, here you have sliders so this uh, moving the sliders gently you can check the platform movements so you move them one side to another and platform should move so roll gives us left and right movements pitch gives us forward and backwards movements you can check all the range but just be gentle because platform is really responsive and you don't need to move it so uh, very fast uh, for the uh, for the platforms with uh, three degrees of freedom you click more and you see extra one axis so in extra one it's your yaw or rear uh, rear traction loss so you move it here for flight games uh, if you want it to be ya uh, you have to follow instructions in your manual in PDF manual how to change it but by default it's uh, the third axis extra one and for racing games it will it's working fine as it is so uh, we check the platform is moving and we turn it off now we are done uh, also I want to show you tuning center if you need to fine-tune something for specific game you go here to the tuning center and you choose again make sure that you choose game and then you can change some set, uh, change, change some settings here so you click capture you put numbers you keep stop and you save new settings make sure you always save uh, all your changes now we can close game engine and we open game manager game manager is needed to work with different games to get information from the games uh, work with plugins plugins uh, receive uh, moving uh, information telemet telematic information from the games and send it to the platform to the to sim tools so again it gets uh, down to tray so we get it from the tray open open it from the tray and here we see the list of games again so we pick our game let's say airfly and we patch it we have we have to patch it but before we patch the game make sure that if it's a new installed game you make one full race or one full run or one full flight then you close the game and you can do patching so you patch the game you click OK here get an error because I don't have this game installed but you should be successfully patching the game and then it's uh, the most important step enjoy the platform so from now platform should be working in the games you you patched it and you will be able to uh, use it and you for sure will be enjoying it uh, one more thing before we close if something went wrong if uh, the steps I just showed you didn't work you have some problems in any of them you have a link in the, this video description there's a link to more detailed video how to manually set up all these uh, steps so follow this link and if for some reason it's, you still have some problems please send us an email uh, at sales at dofreality.com and we'll be uh, we'll be happy to help you with any technical issues and also I want to show you uh, if you uh, get uh, get uh, your installation done and you get your plugin set at the installation but plugins get updated often sometimes uh, daily sometimes weekly uh, we provide you a link again in your P uh, PDF menu you have a link to plugin updater so you again you download this file and you run it and you get automatically updated all the plugins uh, to the current current uh, latest and greatest versions so use this plugin updater if something is not working if everything works you don't need to use it also you might need to update your sim tools 
Now there is uh, version 2.2.5, but uh, soon it will be new versions. You go to simtools.us, you click download links, and that's the screen you're going to get. And here you can download latest versions of SimTools. And also there are a lot of good manuals and good information here. You can uh, check uh, guides and the instructions on the SimTools. That will be it for this video. Thank you. Enjoy our platform. Enjoy our products.